Well, hello, hello. Welcome to Schoolie Palooza. It is actually the last day of Schoolie Palooza. Oh, by the way, we have Claire Bear. She's back. Um, it is actually the last day. I was having some issues uh, with my drone. I despise DJI or drones. I've had nothing but trouble with them. Um, but yeah, so I figured we just kind of walk around, see what's going on here, give you guys a taste of uh, what it is like to <laughs> be a school bus owner and meet up with over 150 other school buses and their owners. We'll do a little, I don't know, kind of a pan just to kind of give you an idea. This is not, see if my drone was working, I was gonna give you guys a nice aerial shot, but uh, here we are. Well, we had never seen a, bull, uh, a school bus turned into a home. But uh, one night, Debbie called me on her way home from work and said, I think we need to downsize. And all day long, I had been thinking about that. Never in my life had I thought about downsizing because I was always wanting more. You know, 75 laying hens is not enough. Let's have 100. <laughs> you know, 40 dogs is not enough. Yeah. I'm going to buy a few more. Yeah. Six milk goats, that's just not enough. Let's get some more. <laughs> so, you know, I was always uh, trying to do more. But all day long I'd been thinking, you know, I think we need to downsize. Yeah. So we were just in agreement. And I looked on, went on to eBay and I found this bus in Gillette, Wyoming. And I, I flew up there and picked it up and, and we started on it. Definitely downsized and it was, it's been a blessing. It's a freedom like we haven't had before. It's a good and, word. Uh, and I'll tell you what, out here the community is more than I've ever experienced in my life. Yeah. Uh, community is just yeah. wonderful. Well, you have a you have a lovely home. Thanks for uh, letting us in here. Thank well, you. You're welcome. <laughs> and see, I wanted a big kitchen because I like to eat. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a gorgeous. And my wife likes to cook. So that's see? it. That's a good combo. <laughs> yeah, if she has a big kitchen, she'll cook for me. <laughs> Jerry, my wife's name is Vanessa, and the bus is Catalina, and we're at Everything After Z Bus Life. Cool. And why did you get a bus? Why are you into the bus life? Well, I retired, and we were looking at motorhomes, and we decided after watching other YouTubers who are building buses that the motorhome, you know, in this environment is not a good idea. So we wanted something personable so we it would hold up for a long time and, and we can enjoy it a, a lot better so we we jumped into this it's been hard guys we have a familiar face here i don't know if steve is here what time is it 120 you know steve has an alarm clock that goes off every single day so he eats lunch so he doesn't forget <laughs> he's not inside though the bus is called the hummingbird bus and uh your name? I, my name's Andy, and uh, I got it in March last year, and then uh, I had one month to, uh, or a month and a half to build it out, and then I drove off to a campus job and sat in it all Rad. summer, and then I've uh, been touring around in the fall here. And Nice. Uh, and what, what made you come down to Schoolie Palooza? I came last year, and I was in my van, and I got uh, inspired by everybody's buses, and that's when I sold my van and got this. Cool. And yeah. you said you, this is a month and a half build? Yeah, yeah, this is a month just, and a half, just really quick. I, I do build vans, uh, like sprinter vans and stuff for people. Yep. Uh, so more just kind of, you got the essentials, you got the water, you got the sink. And, yeah, just a super quickie. Yep. And then I have a little pop-up table, but we're using it out there right now. Sure. Um, and then, uh, you know, just kind of whipped it together. It's got 780 on the roof with... 600 amp hours underneath the closet here and the storage there. Yeah. Uh, batteries and just the AGMs and a um, little composting toilet and a bed. Got and the skis. Stored under <laughs> it. Yeah, and the skis. I've been up in Mammoth Lakes for the last uh, three months and then moved down here 
just for Schooly Palooza to come back and like be here, and then I think I'm going to yeah. Tucson next. Oh, nice. That's a, that's yeah. a good lifestyle, man. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stoked on it. Yeah. The cat dragged in here. <laughs> Wait, Dean! Dean! What, what is it? Money to be on YouTube. The formal, oh, formerly yeah. known as the schoolie, we have Uncool Dean in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Are you going somewhere? Pretty uncool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go down and be able to make a phone call a little better. So. Sounds good. See you in a little bit. Uh, I came to Schoolie Palooza to meet lots of friends my age. Did that work out? Yes. Okay, good. Um, we came to meet new people, and just look around other other buses. We found a lot of friends in the <laughs> couple of days that we were here. Do you, now, do you guys like living on a bus as a kid? Yes. It's hard. <laughs> it's, There's what's, like a job to leave, a school to leave, friends to leave, but I mean, you meet a lot of new people. It's a, it's a different lifestyle for sure. Yeah. Do, do you guys have fun? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> This is going to be the final intrusion, the final, I don't know, questionnaire tour. Uh, we met our new friend Danny yes. from New York. Mm -hmm. And so let's do a quick little run through here. This is one of the prettiest buses I've seen at the bus fair, no joke. He has uh, a Me great uh, eye for detail and design, as you guys can see with this, um, I don't know, Swedish? Norwegian? Danish. 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 Danish we got the Danish vibes here. It's like very, it's like nicer than Ikea, you know what I mean? Because it's Danish, not Swedish. But um, here's the back part. This is a little hobbit door into the toilet here. Isn't that nice? Isn't that pretty? Super, super nice. Nice little cozy sleeping area. So I guess I'll ask you the same question I was asking other people. Sure. Why did you come to Schooly Palooza? And I guess what did you expect? Ah, uh, um, I have been living in this for six months now. Four of those months were on my cousin's farm in Maine. Um, and that was just, you know, physically creating a home. And I knew that at some point I'm going to have to confront living life in this home. And I think the, one of the most important things for any of us is to have some community of like-minded people. And, and I thought, this is kind of a unique situation here. Where am I going to find like-minded people? And Schooly Palooza, I, I was considering RTR too, but at, once I got here, I've, I've found that these are my people. Yes, and, uh, I would agree. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's a good answer. And, and what I love is that we all come from different places, but there's this kind of theme that that bonds us. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And this is not your uh, cookie cutter RV folks. This is, yeah. this is really nice. This is more tiny home realm here and uh, design and, and obviously the customization. So anyways, uh, great it's, being your neighbor. Yeah. It's really wonderful to meet you. Yeah. Likewise. And yeah. Likewise. And keep in touch. A lot more, yeah. yeah very cool. Mm -hmm.